guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I highlight my roots at home. I first want to mention that I am not a professional, but I have been doing my own hair at home pretty much all my life. I just think that it's fun and that's what I like to do, so that's what I do. I don't want to talk too much because I know that y'all are probably ready to get into this tutorial. But I do like to show you guys my results at the beginning, just so you know what you're getting into before watching this whole video. So these are my results. Let me show you the back. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, there is this one spot right here that kind of bugs me. Like it's just not as perfect as I want it, but <laughs> I just kind of strategically tuck it behind my ear and it's good to go. So that's what I do to kind of just hide that mistake, which I feel like is a mistake. I also don't typically part my hair in the middle, but I feel like if I did want to, there we go, that's better. See, so it is highlighted pretty evenly, and if I did decide to start parting my hair in the middle, it would hide that, that spot, so it wouldn't be as noticeable. Like I said, I am not a professional, so I just wanted to be real and honest with you about how I felt about my results. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra, and I put up new videos every single week, so please be sure and hit that subscribe button right down there you know where it is let's go ahead and get into this tutorial so i will link everything that you guys see in this video in the description box below i got it all at sally's really affordable so yeah let's go ahead and get the cap on notice i have my hair parted to the side this is how i normally wear my hair and so I'm just gonna keep that part there. So I'm just going to place the cap on and I wanna make sure that it is aligned so you can see my part right here, which is good. I'm gonna pull it all the way down and then I'm gonna tuck all of this hair under and I'm going to tie it so that it stays in place. So once it's secure, I'm just going to take the little needle and start pulling my hair through. For the top part of my hair, I am going to go through every hole just because I want the most highlights right in here, especially right here around my face. Okay, so if you don't have a helper at home, I'm just quickly going to show you how I do it on my own. So I'm just going to turn around. And what I do is I just push all the hair from the top to the front. And then I just kind of work horizontally instead of vertically. Um, the back really doesn't matter as much, but I do... Uh, like to pull some through just in case like I'm doing like a half up hairstyle or something to me I don't really care if I skip holes or I miss holes. I just want to make sure that There's not like too many gaps Okay. 
Okay, so I finally got all the hair pulled through. It looks a hot mess, I know, but let me just zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna take this extra hair right here, pull it to the back, and tie it up. Okay, so the bleach that I got is this Color Brilliance Conditioning with Gardena, Gardenia Oil and Coconut Oil. What I'm gonna do is put it in this little plastic bowl. On the directions, it says one part bleach, one part developer. I'm just gonna take a little measuring cup. This is one fourth. And I just want to make sure that I'm putting equal parts bleach and equal parts developer. And then I'm going to take volume 20 developer. And the reason I'm only using 20 is because I watched a video from this hairstylist that said if you're going in with bleach, on top of hair that's already bleached, you don't wanna go higher than a 20 because it will fry off all the hair that's already been bleached. So, we are going to mix it together. And that looks ready to go. I am gonna start at the top. In my last video, I started at the bottom, but since I'm focusing the color on my roots, I'm just going to start painting on starting at the top. figured out the foils I just kind of took pieces and wrapped the foil in them just because they were slipping and it was making a mess so I put all the bleach in first and then I grabbed pieces and then wrapped the foil so that's why it looks like that this part was in foil but I took it out because it was getting a little bit lighter than the rest of my hair so I was just gonna let the bleach dry and stop working I got this side done but I didn't put any foil down there. I just kind of uh, made sure that the bleach was all saturated. I'm really not getting the ends of my hair right here, if you can tell. They're already bleached and I don't want to damage them even more. Really what I'm doing is just taking a little piece and taking some bleach on the brush and then just blending downwards, just so that there's not like a harsh part where you stopped. So just blend down towards where your hair is already bleached, but don't saturate the ends because that's just gonna cause way more damage than what's already damaged. So my husband's been helping it's nice to have a helper. A happy helper? A happy helper. You can tell that we're parents just by that statement. Do you shower in that cap? You do shower in the cap. And so what I do is I just get my hair wet mm -hmm. and like kind of massage all the bleach out of it. And then I... But not scrub it out. Yeah. So I just get in the shower, get my hair wet, and before I shampoo it, I take the cap off. And then after I take the cap off, I, I then shampoo it. Am I making a mess there? Yeah, you have a dot right there. Yeah, right there. 
remember all the hair that you pulled through right here is what you're bleaching so if your bleach gets on this hair right here like it's okay just make sure to blend it out because you are blocking all the hair that's not getting bleached with the cap and all the hair that's not getting bleached is behind your head in the ponytail. That's why I like this method just because if you are not a professional like me, I'm not a professional and I can get a little messy sometimes, this is kind of a foolproof way of highlighting your hair and being able to get messy without making a ton of mistakes, you know? I am going to let this sit for about 30 minutes, I would say, and then I'm gonna wash it out and I'll come back and do some toner. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> this is what my hair looks like after I washed out all the bleach. Now we're going to tone and I bought the Wella Lightest Beige Blonde T11. I didn't want it to be like bright blonde against my hair color and my skin tone so I wanted something that was more beige more on the warm side rather than on the ashy side. The back of this says to mix with one part toner and two parts 20 developer so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same things that I use for the bleach I just wash them out because it says one part toner I'm just gonna fill this one fourth cup halfway full and then I'll fill the developer full if that makes sense what I'm gonna do really quickly before I apply the toner is just section my hair off just to make sure that I get all of my hair and my hair is damp right now because you want your hair to be damp when you do the toner and then I'm just gonna leave this down so I can get toner here okay and then this side I'll just do in half because I did the highlights all throughout my hair I'm just gonna go ahead and apply toner throughout my whole hair I want all my highlights to be the same color, even the ones that I had previously. So that's why I'm gonna just go ahead and apply to my whole head. So taking the brush again. Actually, maybe I should just put my gloves on and just glob it all on there. <laughs> it might be a little faster. We're just gonna do this the easiest way possible and I feel like using a brush is just gonna waste time. So I'm just going to take a glob of it and glob it on my head, making sure to just saturate everything. Okay, I'm just going to take my brush and brush it through just to make sure that all that toner is evenly dispersed throughout my whole head. that is toned I'm just going to it's probably really gross that I just put that in my mouth okay I'm just gonna clip this up so that it's not on my neck all right so now I'm going to leave this toner in for about 30 minutes I'm going to wash it out and I did get this ion color defense after color sealer it says it hydrates seals cuticle while adding shine so I figured that this would be good to have after highlighting my hair so I just went ahead and picked this up so BRB so I thought I was done but I'm quickly going to just grab a few pieces that I feel like should have been highlighted. I'm really not highlighting a lot. I'm just going to like right here. I do wear my hair back a lot like in a high pony or in a half pony 
and if I were to pull it back how it is now all this part is highlighted but like not really anything right here is highlighted so I want to fix that in my last video what I did was I brushed my hair back and then I put the cap on and I didn't have this issue this time I parted it to the side and I do have this issue so if you wear your hair back and you care that it looks like this then brush your hair back and then put the cap on then pull your hair through I'm just gonna go in and touch up a few spots so since I have this pulled back already I kind of want to match this streak right here so I'm just gonna pull out right here now I'm going to just part it where my hair parts and because I want one like in this area I am going to see how it looks like when it's parted so there's a black spot right here that I do want a highlight on so I'm just gonna grab this one right here I'm just going to pin this back because I'm not highlighting anything on this side I'm also going to pin this part back I've got this part that's highlighted this part that's highlighted what I'm gonna do is just add these I am gonna foil these I'm not an expert at foils at all, so. Don't judge me for being horrible with foils, but I'm just gonna let this sit, wash just this part of my hair out, tone it, and then hopefully I have everything highlighted where I want it <laughs> but I think I pulled it throughout this part pretty well I'll be back to show you my final 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 results all right so that was my process from start to finish I will give a couple critiques if I was doing it again what I would do different is pull everything equally from the top and on the sides because what I did was pull every hole on the top and then on the sides I only pulled the marked holes. Another thing that I would do differently is I would pull my hair back before putting the cap on and then pulling everything like that because it did make a difference right here on my head. It wasn't even all the way across and if I had done that then I probably wouldn't have had to go back and make those adjustments like in my hair right here. That's really all that I would do differently. If you are wanting to highlight your roots but not highlight as much, just pull less holes and it will give you less highlight. So it is a pretty foolproof if you are a beginner to highlighting your hair at home. Even if you are seasoned at highlighting your hair at home or you've done it often, I feel like it's just the easiest way to get it done. I feel like I make less mistakes when I just go ahead and use the cap. On my last video, I did get a lot of questions about how long it took me. And honestly, this time around, it took me like almost six hours. Typically, it only takes me about three to four hours this time it just took me a little bit longer because I did have quite a few interruptions, but that's mom life, what can I say? I really hope that I answered all of you guys' questions. If I didn't and I might have missed something, definitely leave me a comment down below. With my last video, I learned so much from you guys leaving helpful comments. I really enjoy reading those because I'm not a professional and I feel like there's always something to be learned. So feel free to leave your comments and questions down below. I love reading them and I love responding. Other than that, I really hope that you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.